Hey guys, welcome back to Forbidden West. Let's jump right back into it. Uh, where we left off, Aloy just got back from dealing with the Far Zenith Launch Center, which was unexpected. Um, tried finding a Gaia backup. No luck there. Uh, and we're back in Meridian, which is still blowing my mind. I did not think we were going to get any um, returning parts of the old map, so I'm super excited to, to explore what we got here. Uh, before we get started, I thought we might as well spend that skill point. Took a bit of time off camera looking through all of these because there is an absurd amount of these new skills. Uh, and I think we're gonna go with Silent Strike Plus. I got one point to spend. Um, early game, we're gonna be using Silent Strike as much as we can, so let's go with that. And so these look like the new Valor Surges that we're gonna get. I think that's what they're called. Um, and I'm especially excited about this one, uh, a cloaking device based on stalker technology. Horizon does such a good job of showing how the different tribes make use of the, the machine technology for their own advantage. And this is specifically something that I wanted to see in the sequel, um, stalker tech being used in an interesting way. Uh, I, I'm really excited to see how that plays out. But anyways, let's let's get back to it. Also, something fun to note, they brought back the Meridian theme. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful song, so I'm excited. I love this world. Don't blame me. It's awesome. Honoring those who fell on the battle of the Alight. Mm -hmm. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Yeah. Six months later, it's still a mess. Statue looks good, though. Hey, hey. What is she wearing? It's just her, uh, Nora garb. What bow does she have? Is it the war bow? Nah, the hunter bow. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Yeah, fair enough. It's a lot of pressure, too, I mean... Okay, I do just want to look around real quick before getting back to that. I see some data points and stuff. Look at the... yeah. Okay, so the Norlands are that way, I believe. I wonder if we can see the Horus. Probably not. Okay. Ooh, oh, no, come on. Looks like it's just grapple points. So let's 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 move on. I was curious to see if there was maybe like a, a recounting of uh, Aloy's quest, I guess. Hello. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, this looks important. Yeah. There was a bellow back. A corruptor somewhere, probably. We almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Man, this just such a, does such a good job of making it feel like a like a sequel that's still part of the series, you know? I mean, obviously, but ah, oh, it's just so cool they brought it back. Important work to do. I never tried out the charge attack, so let's see what that looks like. Wow, okay, so a bit of a charge up and then right after a bit of a cooldown. Yeah. I don't know when that would be super useful, because combat tends to be pretty fast paced on your feet. I'll try and make a point of using it at some point. There it is. At least the cards are paying us to do their hard Yeah, they're rebuilding the elevators. Cool. A 
Oh. Okay, moving on. I better check out the orb first. Mm-hmm. Silence, you tricky little. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Are we climbing the spire? No way. A base at the spire. Okay, okay. There's the corruptor, it looks like. And the Deathbringer. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna fight any of the fair robots now. I might be able to climb up the scaffolding at the base of the spire. Where's that? Oh, here we go. Maybe? Can jump to that ledge behind me. Without touching, either to stick to jump backwards from a hanging position. Ah, nice. Yeah, they probably need that to rebuild, but it's fine. Oh, not quite. There we go. Okay, so they added a couple more mechanics to that. All the Osram below are just there looking at her like, well, I mean, she's the savior, can't question it. Can we jump to there? Yes. No. Do we have to pull it more? Mr. Colcaster can't reach that door. I need to get closer. Okay, I think it's good to go. Let's see, let's try it again. There we go. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Should be able to get up there now. Okay. We're totally climbing the spire. But it looks like he tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Knowledge. If I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully, the transmission node at the top will tell me. Where to? Oh, doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Okay, let's go back down. You know, of all of the things that I was expecting from the sequel, climbing the spire. Looks like this panel's a jar. Go up through the inside? Or going inside. Not what I expected. An elevator? Let's see. Access lift activated. Who knew? 
Wonder what the Karja will make of this. Yeah, they worship this thing. This is so cool. Like, who knew? There's the note. I'm glad they put the elevator, I mean. Okay, that's how we get there. I see you find Oh shit. Out. Oh shit. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. He's just owning it. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those guy up backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months. Oh, like what? The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll go find you. Yes. Well, and the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. Shut up. <sighs> wow. Forbidden West. I hope everyone's freaking out, because that's crazy. Also, Minerva is my favorite subfunction, because code breaking is cool, so I enjoyed that. Uh, wow, alright, did not expect that. He went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ar, oh. uh, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. Vod? Oh, she's smiling. Yeah, yeah. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Itamin. Itamin, quiet. Ah. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit, Vinasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Oh, so good to see them. Must you? New spear? Try it on. A headpiece? It's 
Beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Awesome, awesome. Such good fan service. I love it. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. All right. I need to attach yeah. the master override to my new spear. Mm -hmm. Should be a workbench around here. I can the uh, that headpiece matches what the old shield weaver one used to look like, so that's cool. I do want to talk to these people. Oh, that's new armor. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. Well, he knows us. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I'd hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Nox territory. By the sun, that's enough. Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Are his arms tired? I mean, why? <laughs> okay. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly. The Tanakh, they couldn't get the any, I think. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Baron Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like medals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We'd met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seemed to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Something's gonna go wrong. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No, not in this case. Fashav is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Itaman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. That's one of the best quests in the first game. I think it's called He's Queen's Gambit. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. Mm. Murad keeps. She's smiling. At me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate. I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. 
Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. Yeah, you'd get shot. You make it sound easy. Within ten seconds. I, uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. Oh. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? But long enough for us to spend time to get to know oh, each other. Oh, that's kind of awkward. Perhaps. They've had like 10 conversations. Are you kidding? I'm kind of tempted to see that one, but it's a nice thought, I guess. I like Avad. I definitely don't want them to get together. I don't know if I want Eloy to get with anyone. It's it's definitely not what she has on her mind, but uh, it's a nice thought. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avad. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after... I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. Back with the arms. Wow, I, I gotta say, that was um, our first instance of dialogue, and it was entirely uh, motion, motion captured, I think. Like, that that was really, really great. Uh, and if they're all like that, I'm excited. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? Oh. You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh, I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. Mm. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! I hope I find a Thunderjaw. Alright, I think there's, um, Vanasha. And then we're good to go. Where did she get off to? Oh, they might have left. What's our current objective? Oh, yeah. Workbench. Where is that? I'll be right here until you need me. Oh, up here. There. Ah, there she is. Luthid, Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? <laughs> she should have said moment, bye. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know what? I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. 
May the sun bless their sorry souls. <laughs> At least I say something of substance every oh, once I left in them. a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. The mocap adds so much I to never these. I pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. Yeah, I wonder. What's become of the Shadow Karja? It must have uh, dissolved. After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Abad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. I believe it. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <sighs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Can't overstate how fun it is that they added this in. Such good callbacks and Okay, workbench, crafting. Maybe I can upgrade my bow now? Let's see. Champion spear. Okay, requires a skill to use. Uh, is that it? Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. I do need the skill for that, I think. Yeah, so we can't use the workbench. Maybe we have to get to the next section to use that. Savior. I'm relieved to see you in good health. Good to see you too, random soldier number 43. Alright, let's get going. Aloy. Are you finished with your friends, or do you need more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Do we get to see the city? Oh, is this Olin's old apartment still? All right, loading. I can't get over the cinematics. So good. All right, still in Meridian. Nope, looks like we're heading out.
That's the band camp. Vocals. Oh, it's the opening credits. We're just now at the opening credits. Wow. That goes to the sacred land. Those are the two thunder jaws you can fight. Oh, this is awesome. Cauldron Sigma, I think. Maker's End. Sunfall. Oh, this is beautiful. Who can take my hand in the flood? Her voice calls me forth through darkness unknown. My heart with silence burns through solemnness and bone. Chills. I don't even know what to say. That was box to steal. Speechless. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes. I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the daunt, the whole valley. It's infested with machines. That's a chain scrape, I think. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at chain scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. She will. Well, but then. Who would crank it back up? The fine, eye roll. Fine. <laughs> say bye to your charger. Oh, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Sure, sure. Yeah, that overridden charger is just gonna sit there now. I see smoke. But not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. Well, as for the quiet, Reached the well, dawn. There's Here we a are. stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. That's new. The strangeness is they're not native to the dawn. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross all the boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. 
Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. Oh? What are you talking about? Something happened. Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Ranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. It's a very interesting list. At Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. Yeah, since this is the Forbidden West, I assume there's going to be a lot of Osram settlements because the Karja don't really come out here. The Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this. This. What? This. Nora oh, come on. Girl? You've seen the statue. This savage. Aside, Scallywag. What is? That's Aloy. Studious, what is? Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian. Really? <laughs> well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baronlight. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. Sun priests. I shall head to Baron Light. When the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear. Errand? Not a moment sooner. Fine. Definitely Errand. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Errand? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> what is? Studious what is. Studious what is sent Errand and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <laughs> Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain scrape with the Yeah, crafting. Let's go. As for the bristlebacks. You might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey. Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Mic drop. Why? <laughs> Joraf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Errand and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. I mean, she knows the severity of her mission. She's not going to take no for an answer. For someone who's, someone who's raised with, like, two other people to talk to in her life, she is pretty witty. <laughs> okay, here we are. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Yeah, definitely. Um, wow. Wow. That cinematic, that song, I did not expect that. That was a welcome surprise. Um, also, we left Varl. I'm assuming he's going to catch up later, but... Uh, Aloy, I know you mean well, but that's that's too bad. Um, okay, let's take a look at the map. Uh, let's see. Wow. It just keeps going. This looks like, uh, no, that's Baron Light, that's Chain Scrape. Look at the map size. All right, I'm excited, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna call it here, take a break, and kind of just process what just happened. And it looks like we're, we're, we're starting, like, the game is started. We're in the open world now. Uh, we got map markers, things to do. I'm excited, but yeah, I just need to sit back and take a minute. That was incredible. Thanks so much uh, for joining. Leave a like and comment. Uh, 
again, what you're excited to see. I'm looking forward to getting the chain scrape, upgrading my bow, seeing how the crafting system works. We got some more skill points too, so I think I'm going to take some time off camera to kind of delve into what we got going on. Oh, actually, yeah, we did just get the resonator on our spear, so let's just go with this. Nice. And then that unlocks. Yeah, I need to take some time to kind of digest all these skills, valor, surges, all that. But anyways, thanks so much. See you guys later. Bye.